Hey friends, Miki from Figma here with another Figma tip. Today I'm going to be talking about using auto layout objects made in Figma for use in FigJam. So I'm going to begin in Figma with this text field. I'm going to press Shift A to make an auto layout object out of it. I'm going to go ahead and choose a new fill. Let's make that fill dark blue. I'm going to use the selection colors to change the type to white. I'm going to select that object and give it rounded corners with about a value of eight. Next, I'm going to select that object and increase the padding around it with a value of 16. I'm going to go ahead and draw out a polygon. Let's use just a small polygon here. Uh, I'm going to double click on it, select that endpoint, and make it a value of one. Give it just like a nice little rounded nub there. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to frame that selection. I'm going to hold down the command and option key to just give it a bit more space. I'm also going to hold the command key on the right side here just to have a bit of overlap. I'm going to select select the nub, press the I key for the eyedropper tool and uh, make it the same color blue. I'm going to select them both and press shift A and I'm going to reduce the space in the auto layout. So now we have here kind of like our main auto layout. I'm going to go ahead and increase the padding around it. And next I'm going to jump and uh, click inside here and expand the width of our little bubble. And next I'm going to go inside of that once more, select the text field and have that fill container. So this is pretty good and ready. If I press return and type in some content, you see that it works just fine. Next, what I'm going to do is create that as a component and I'm going to go ahead and click a variant. Uh, the second component that I have here, I'm going to double click on the nub, hit the right key, hold down shift H, flip that around. Now I can select this whole object here and with selection colors, I'm going to change the color. I can copy that component set and I can paste it right into FigJam. Next, I can press the E key to drop in my avatar and have the thought bubble say whatever I want. Thanks for watching and happy designing. Thank you.